Oh, yes, honey. Yes, baby. <laughs> lifestyle lovers happy wednesday today is wednesday it is the first day of the weekly vlog i just decided to go ahead and get it started my hardware came in for my door so that is the first order of business that i'm going to share with you guys i just took a picture of it so i'm going to send it to brian just to make sure you know i'm not missing anything and then the next order of business, I need to get the paint. So I, I am going to use Sharon Williams extra white paint for the doors. That is pretty much what I have used for the trim around my home. So I need to get the paint and then I'm going to get that tomorrow. And once I get the paint, I'm pretty much going to schedule to have the doors installed. Brian is going to paint them. He's going to install them and add the hardware. So originally I was gonna order the hardware from Bill.com, but when I went on Bill.com and I got ready to check out, they had an option for Amazon Pay. So when I seen the option for Amazon Pay, I was like, well, let me check and see if they're on Amazon. And they were. They were on Amazon for $20 cheaper, for one. $20 cheaper so let me just show you guys so you can see so this is what I selected it's made by Sklage or it's S-C-H-L-A-G-E and the price is in it's in matte black but this is the price can you see it 54 is that 54.99 I went to Amazon, like I said, once I seen Amazon pay, and they were $34 on Amazon. Let me see. Okay, so yeah, they were $20 cheaper on Amazon than they were on Bill.com, so of course I ordered them from Amazon. Um, but this is the hardware that I selected. It's heavy, so it's in the matte black. It's the... um. What do they call it? Privacy, I think they call it privacy when you have the lock. So this is the lock which will go on the inside of my bedroom door. And this will be the uh, the front of it. And then I ordered three um, hinge packs. So it'll be three hinges for each door. And those are solid wood doors. So I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. It looks a lot bigger online but these were 34 34 35 dollars a piece on amazon so if you are interested i will be sure i link them below and this is the company that they're made by so i'm gonna send these to brian and um just so he can just see what i have and i really need to go to the grocery store i don't feel like it I've logged off for today, but I need to go to the grocery store. So that's probably what I will be doing next in this vlog. And I did patch the holes up in the bathroom. So I need to sand those down. And then after that, I can start the painting process. I'm probably gonna allow them to dry. I may uh, sand them down tonight. So yeah, and I have three of them. So I just wanted to share the hardware for the doors with you guys and then I'll check back in a little later. Okay, Lifestyle Lover, so it's actually a few hours later. I'm just getting back from the grocery store. Well, I'm just getting back from my sister's house. I stopped by her house to take her some watermelon and check up on her. She just had so surgery on her shoulder today because she hurt it in a skiing accident earlier this year around February. So she had to end up getting surgery. So um, she's recovering. She's doing well. So she's recovering. She's doing well. I just wanted to share 
what I got from the grocery store. I end up going to Publix. Groceries are so super expensive now. Um, all of this stuff besides the wine was $100 and I don't have a lot of stuff. I did get the turkey sausage Jimmy Dean Delights. I love these for breakfast. I end up getting three of them. I have my favorite Heath bar, Lando Lakes butter, a Publix apron meal for one. It is the spinach and feta cheese stuffed chicken with green beans and lemon butter. Chicken breast, buy one, get one. Flank steak stuffed with spinach and mozzarella. Salt and vinegar chips. Salad. Cajun fish fry. Salmon. Ranch Italian dressing. No, I'm sorry. Ranch dressing. And this is the Simply Ranch with no artificial preservative flavors or colors. Starbucks creamer. Canola oil. Simply Lemonade and some Oreo Thins. I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started. I'm going to fry some salmon and a salad. Mookie is not here. He's actually with his dad, so I'm just eating for one tonight. So I'm going to put the wine in the freezer so it can get cold and just wind down and get ready for my work day tomorrow. Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, so I am headed out the door getting ready to go into the office. You see I'm doing a little color blocking for work today. So I have on a Vince Camuto pink blazer and like a turquoise dress. And then I'm just doing my large statement piece from Charming Charlie. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes are back to normal. But I just wanted to share with you guys, I think I found the culprit of why my eyes were just getting swollen. They were really, really dry. Um, they were peeling up under my eye. So I'm still going to go see my doctor. I'm actually looking for a new doctor, which is why I had not um, went yet. But my sister advised me to... Um, my sister recommended her doctor. So I think I'm going to see if they're accepting new patients. So I am still going to get some blood work and all of that stuff just to make sure everything is okay. But reading is fundamental. I don't know if any of you guys seen my Sephora haul where I shared um, this product for problem skin and I also shared some hyperpigmentation that I kind of have over here that I just wanted to get rid of you know we all strive for you know perfect skin perfect teeth perfect body whatever it is that you want to be perfect you know we're striving for and I know I care a lot about my skin and I just want it to be flawless with or without makeup so I was actually using this product incorrectly and I think this was the culprit. It says on this product that you're supposed to start out using it every other day just to let your skin get acclimated to it. And then after that, you're only supposed to use it once a day in the AM or in the PM. I started off using this product twice a day. I was using it in the morning and at night because I kind of scanned through the directions and I thought it said AM and PM. It said AM or PM. And I was actually, and I was actually using it in conjunction with the Tula products because I just told you guys how much I love the Tula because my skin, you know, it was looking really good, really clear, but these products were drying my skin out. Um and I was using these together. And I think that is what caused the reaction for my eyes. It took weeks for it to get back right. I just been noticing some difference within the last three days. And because I love the Tula product so much, I end up ordering the moisturizer and the brightening vitamin drops, the triple C serum, which I don't think these had anything to do with it because these did not arrive until after I was having the issues, but I'm going to see if I can return or exchange 
all of this stuff. These I purchased online, so these did not come from a local store. But I got the Tula from Ulta, and of course, the Sephora was during the Sephora sale. So, I think I'm going to try to return all of that stuff. But I'm getting ready to head out. I was just fixing one of the Publix apron meals that I purchased from Publix yesterday to take for lunch. Because I've noticed, if I do not take my lunch, I just won't eat. Because I get so caught up in my work, I don't want to stop, I don't want to get behind, I'll just kind of skip lunch so i'm trying to stop doing that i'm trying to do better but um i probably am going to hit the stores once i get off work so i'll share that with you guys or i'll check back in um a little later bye good morning lifestyle lovers happy friday today is friday i am headed into the office this is i need to put on some shades this is typically my day to work from home, but I have a real big meeting today with pretty much all of the um, people in my department. So we have to be there and the meeting has been planned for like a month now, but I'm really, really broken hearted because my grandson Messiah graduates from preschool today. So he is going into kindergarten for the upcoming school year and I'm going to miss it. And when I realized that, I almost cried about it. Um, this is one of the times I kind of wish I was a, a Mima that was retired. <laughs> but um, I really have to be at this meeting. There is no way I could maneuver around it. Um, it starts at 9, his graduation starts at 10, so if I take into consideration travel time and the graduation, which will probably run about an hour, I would miss two hours of the meeting and the meeting is only four hours and it's very important. It's, it's pretty much important to my um, goals, my career goals or my job goals this year. So I. I have to be there um, but we may do a celebration afterwards and then I asked him what did he want for his graduation and he gave me a long list <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that I get everything that he asked for at least most of it um, I was supposed to go get my hair done yesterday but my stylist could not squeeze me in so she's gonna try to squeeze squeeze me in today because it's growing back really really fast and it's so thick so it's hard for me to keep it you know kind of groomed and laid down I usually put my cream of nature cream of nature mousse on it and wrap it up real tight but it's still not laying down so I need to get into the salon um so today we were advised to dress really really casual I, I recently did a video, it'll probably come before this video, about tips. And one of those tips were actually, you know, kind of dress for the part you want. But most importantly, just always look professional and always look polished. So although we were told we could, you know, kind of dress down and wear jeans, I did. Um, instead of, you know, just like some regular denim jeans, I, wore, I have on some chambray jeans. And I'm gonna kind of do a side by side to kind of give you guys of, um, a look of, of what I'm wearing because I wasn't able to kind of talk to you guys before I left the house because I need to, you know, get in and be on time. I think we're gonna have like a little small breakfast before the meeting starts. So um, I need to kind of get into the office, but you can still look really, really cute, really, really classy as well as professional without dressing all the way down. So I did do like some chambray jeans. I have on this white top from Express that I shared with you guys on one or two vlogs back and it is on sale if you didn't catch it. I think it's on sale for like 24, $25. It has the the pads in it, like the, um, the shoulder pads. And then I did like a um, pink blazer, which is also from Express. And it's like that, um, that uh I kind of like that silky material so um, 
and then I have my statement necklace, which is from Charming Charlie. That is old. And then I did like some flat jewel sandals that are old as well. They're similar to this necklace. I think they're made by Vince Camuto. I can't remember, but they're like old from Dillard's. But anyways, I just wanted to come in, tell you guys good morning, happy Friday. Um, not really sure what's on the agenda agenda today i am going to try to get into the salon because i really need i need my hair like washed it itches and kind of you know cut back down and trimmed up and all that good stuff so i'll check back in with oh i did do some shopping i bought a few um a few outfits from express so i do want to share them with you guys because it is really really cute I kind of foresee maybe a vacation coming this summer, maybe a vacation. Me and Babe have been talking about how we both need a break and both need to get away. So we haven't discussed any details, but um, I'm staying prepared just in case. So I do want to share um, those outfits with you guys before I close the vlog out. So I'll check back in with you a little later. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So today is actually Saturday. I meant to end the vlog yesterday, but it just didn't work out like that. Um, I actually did end it my day early um, after I got done with my big meeting. I went and got my hair did, as you guys can see. It's laid, honey. It's laid. It ain't looking rough like it was yesterday. But um, I have been doing some shopping as I shared with you guys yesterday. So I wanted to kind of share with you what I have been buying. Um, now that one thing is done in the house, I kind of splurge just a little bit on myself. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you what I purchased from Express. And then I purchased like a, kind of like a flowy dress from Dillard's. And I'm going to share that with you. And I'm just going to kind of do a side by side of the try on haul so you guys can get a look at it um it's actually it's probably it's not even 12 o'clock but i did kind of get up and fix my face um you know just so i can look decent during the try on haul i'm probably getting ready to start the weekend vlog as well i'm actually cooking for a friend <laughs> she's having a dinner for her husband so i'm i'm doing that as well but I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Ulta and then I'll do the try on haul um, with the outfits that I purchased. So I end up taking the Tula products back, which was the acne foam wash and the glycolic acid. Now, I really believe the reason that my eyes was breaking out is because I was using the products, the mainly probably the glycolic acid toner alone with the dr dennis gross and i just think it was too strong for my skin and of course i was using this incorrectly as i stated i have not decided if i'm going to take this back to sephora but i did return the tula products now if you are considering trying tula either either based on what i what i shared with you guys um i will still try it i think i did it wrong i think it was actually um user's era so i am going to revisit tula again i just did not want the products to sit around and expire because i want to kind of use one thing at a time so if that ever happens again i can narrow it down i loved tula so much i end up purchasing the brightening treatment drops as well as the 24 seven moisturizer. Now these I did purchase from an online retailer, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to return these. I am still using these, having no um, bad reactions, but um, I return the, cl the cleanser and the toner. So what I end up picking up with my credit was uh, my Marad Clarifying Cleanser depending on how long you guys been watching me marad has always been my go-to brand over anything else so i just kind of gravitated back to what i know because i have so many other skin products i just purchased a small size i did not think i needed the big size i kind of want to as i stated use one thing at a time and just not be using all of this stuff 
And I also, ooh, and I also purchased the Mario Better Duce facial spray with the aloe herbs and rose water. I've heard good things about this. And I'm always around the house, just sitting around with no makeup. It's just a way to kind of refresh your face, either with makeup or without makeup. And it was only like seven dollars. And I also don't ask me why I picked up another bottle of perfume, but I also picked up the Ariana Grande Cloud. I just have the small bottle. Now, I heard this perfume smells very similar to a very expensive brand of perfume. I'm not going to chop the name up. I'll just actually do a split screen so you guys can know what I'm talking about. But I think that particular brand is probably about $350 a bottle. And I have had like a really, really small size, so I know how it smells, but I have not gotten to the point where, where I would actually spend $350 on a bottle of perfume. But it is true, it does smell very, very similar. It comes with the this little cloud, because it's called cloud, so this is kind of how it sits. But um, I think I'm just going to trash the cloud. It looks kind of juvenile. And I think I'm just going to display it kind of like this with the rest of my perfumes because it sits up by itself. But um, I already opened it. Babe was over the other night. I let him smell it. He says it smell good, smells good as well. So um, I picked this up. It was only $44. And one of you guys suggested Clinique All About Eyes. So I grabbed that as well. So I'm going to just show you how that looks. So... This is the other item that I end up picking up from Ulta. I've only used it once, but so far, no bad reactions or anything like this. But I am going to kind of use it consistently. This is how it looks. Um, one of you lifestyle lovers suggested it to me. I'm glad you did because I do need an eye cream. Now that my eyes are back to how they should be, um, I just think it's important that I use one. I had one. Um, I think it was made by Ola Hendrickson or Henriksen, but I think I end up letting it expire by not using it regularly. So, um, as I stated, I may try the Dennis Gross again, but I'm just going to wait until I get back to, uh, my skin get, gets back to its normal state, which no, uh, pimples or anything like that, because I am actually babysitting some pimples that um, have started to break break out from the mask. And also I purchased a handbag, but I'm not gonna share that with you guys in this video because I think I'm going to purchase a card case for it and I may purchase something else. So when I do decide to share it, I think I may just do like a June luxury haul. Um, but I did purchase a pair of sunglasses that I have been wanting for a long time they're really really old so it took me a while to kind of chase them down they are made by valentino these came yesterday as well but i'm just going to go ahead and share these with you guys but i may also share them in the june luxury haul i won't be able to link them because they're not like in season or anything like that i actually started to get these for my birthday but when i got the pair of versace sunglasses that's what made me just kind of stop searching for them but it comes like in the valentino case and it's really easy they look better actually in the sun but it's like a mirrored lens i don't know if you guys can see it's it's a cat eye type of um it's cat eyes so I don't know if you can tell, but it has the VLTN on, on them. If I can kind of model, model them in the sun so you guys can get a better look at them. But they're in a gold color. Oh, yes, honey. Yes, baby. So on the side, it has like a little shield. So, yes. Mm. Can you see it? It has, it's a mirror tint, but it has like VLTN on them. I will link them, well, the name of them, if you guys want to search for them on your own. But um, like I said, it took me forever to find this, these sunglasses. And every time I would find them, 
I would I just wouldn't buy them because I just I don't know but I got them so um, and I just want to share this with you guys but I am thinking of getting um something else from the Valentino brand which I am absolutely loving oh yeah these cute honey these cute so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the try on haul okay lifestyle lovers so it's actually three outfits that i'm going to share with you guys two of them are from express so i end up taking some pants that i shared a few weeks back on the vlog they were work pants i end up returning them because in my opinion they were kind of too snug for work i know some of you suggested it suggested that i keep them but i like to look very professional for work i don't like to bring attention to you know any like my booty and all that stuff so i took them back they just were not work appropriate for me so um it's actually a three piece all of these are made of linen so the shirt will actually go with both bottoms that i'm going to share with you guys this is how the shirt looks it ties up in the front it's kind of like a crop top shirt I have it in the size small and the shirt was I think that says sixty dollars but of course when I go into Express I always have coupons or when I go they have some type of promotion so I didn't pay sixty dollars for it but this is how it looks now if I pair it along with these shorts it looks really really cute with the shorts these are paper bag shorts and the reason why they call them paper bag shorts is if you ever do a paper bag like this it'll kind of scrunch up so as you can see it's scrunched up at the waist and the size is a extra small you guys know that i do not wear an extra small these actually run big so sometimes linen can run run big but the shorts were, were $54 and they were either on sale or the coupon made them $20 so I only paid $20 for the shorts I can't remember how it worked out but I paid $20 for the shorts these are also in an extra small and these are the pants which has the scrunch at the bottom and the reason why i bought these is because this is something that i could actually wear to work of course not with the crop top but a blazer a matching blazer also comes in this type of material and in this color so i did not get the blazer this time around but i do plan to get that in the future maybe when it goes on sale because i want to say the blazer is like 150 dollars but these are the pants so that is that and I also picked up like a nice flowy dress from Dillard's now I have seen this in Dillard's a few times because one time me and my sister was was in Dillard's and I was consider considering buy, buying the dress then but I told my sister I was like this is cute but $40 for tie-dye and she said, yeah, it is cute, but it, it ain't worth no $40. But um, I end up getting it because I, I just kept, every time I went in Dillard's, I would look and see if they had, had it and they would. So this particular time I tried it on and when I tried it on, it looks so cute. So I kind of had to get it. And um, I even searched the brand to see if it was on uh amazon but i think this particular brand is exclusive to dillard's i have it in the size small and the brand is stiletto and it was 39 dollars but it looks really really cute i may even be able to pair it with my tory birch slides and my tory birch bag but this is cute, perfect for the summer, perfect for like a date day. If me and babe want to go to go on a date, go to the beach, you know, you just want to chill, but be cute. So I did pick this up. I don't know why, but when I buy clothes and stuff like that, I kind of feel guilty about it. 
it's it's a crazy I don't know why it just it doesn't make any sense but I just kind of think that I rather invest my money <laughs> in my home um but anyway it's summertime I just kind of wanted to maybe get a few cute outfits just in case you know um I decide to take an impromptu vacation or anything like that I just want to be prepared but I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog that's pretty much it for this week's vlog although it kind of flowed over into the weekend but i am getting ready to start the weekend vlog but that's pretty much it for this video lifestyle lovers as stated anything that i discussed or talked about in this video if it's linkable it will be in the description box make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye